Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about overriding the base class methods in the derived class, you know, which is nothing but in the base class, we're going to have a method and also in the derived class, we're going to have a method with the same signature, you know, the same return type, the same name and the same number of parameters. At that time, what happens is the method, which is in the base class, Will be overridden by the method in the derived class so just to demonstrate that i'm gonna build a class in our program so it's gonna be class and let's call it as person and this person class let's say it's gonna have a function called uh, introduce and let's say it's gonna be a void function void introduce and uh, we're not gonna take any parameters and also here in this function body we're just gonna print out hi I am a person and that's it let's end this line so the next thing that we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna build another class you know which is gonna derive from this class person so let's say class student and it's gonna inherit from this class person so it's gonna be public and uh, person in this class definition we're gonna have the same function the same signature you know which is nothing but the same return type same name and same parameters so here we're gonna say hi i am a student and i am awesome all right so here we have a base class called person you know which has a method called introduce and uh, this student is a class which is deriving from this class person and also in this derived class student we have a method with the same signature as the method in the base class so we have the same return type same name and same parameters only the difference is the statements inside that methods so here what happens is when we create an object of this class student in our main function and uh, when we call the introduce method anil dot introduce now the C++ is going to call the method which is in the derived class. So the method in this base class will not be called. So in other words, we can say the method in the base class is overridden by the method in the derived class. So this is called method overriding. So just to demonstrate that I'm going to save this. I'm going to build and run this. Okay, we have an error that's because you know I haven't added the semicolon I added the colon and similarly here also I don't know why I make this kind of silly mistakes so save it build and run it again and hopefully this time no errors yes no error it says hi I am a student and I am awesome so you can see that you know the method of this base class is not executed or you know it is hidden by the method in the derived class so this is about overriding the methods in the derived class and in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to access the base class methods you know when it is overridden in the derived class so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial